Why do you act so shocked when you see the type of women that men choose? That they choose to marry, that they choose to start a family with? Why do you act shocked? Because it's never surprising to me if you understand the Madonna complex of the situation. Men don't want to marry and start families with the fantasy. They want to sleep with the fantasy. And the truth of the matter is, most men don't want to marry and start a family with the BBO girl. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. Good shout around it's your boy reclaim your throne coming at you with another crazy video but first my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month so make sure you go ahead and like comment share subscribe you already know reclaim your throne why do you act so shocked when you see the type of women that men choose that they choose to marry that they choose to start a family with why do you act shocked because it's never surprising to me if you understand the madonna complex of the situation Men don't want to marry and start families with the fantasy. They want to sleep with the fantasy. And the truth of the matter is, most men don't want to marry and start a family with the BBO girl. Can we keep it real? They don't want to start a family with the chick they met at the club. They don't want to. They don't want to wed you. Oftentimes because they were in situations where they instantly had the capacity to sexualize you. And the minute that they could do that was the minute they could objectify you, was the minute that they could devalue you, and was the minute that you were no longer a person to them. You were an object. Thus, you were the fantasy. There were now things they wanted to do with you and to you that they would never really do to a woman that they love, that they would never really do to a woman that they think highly of. But because they've seen you the way they have seen you, you no longer are someone they think highly of in any capacity they don't think of you being any more than just a body but these women that they wed these women that they start families with they have not had instances where they had the capacity to sexualize them because they did not exude sensuality do you know what i mean do you get what i'm saying and because they also understand how other men are the decision is made that okay if i couldn't do that to you most other men couldn't do that to you either thus the competition is less thus i don't have to worry about you when you go to the grocery store when you go to the nail salon when you go shopping with your girls i don't have to worry because most dudes don't even look at you like that do you understand what i'm saying All right, man, we have to break this down. And this clip is going viral because you have a homosexual man who is trying to uh, give a maybe a uh, I don't even know if it's a solution, but it's it's more of a diagnosis of the problem when it comes to dating in this day and age as it pertains to bbl or unnatural women versus natural women this is basically the conversation that he's having he is saying men are going to fuck and chuck unnatural women but they're going to marry natural women and here's the thing about this homosexual man he is able to accurately diagnose the problem but but the the reason his reasoning for why this is is incorrect and see this is why you cannot take dating advice from a homosexual okay male or female but in particular a man okay see a homosexual woman especially if she's dyking can give you advice on getting women now a lot of that is 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 a lot of that is predicated on the woman lowering her guard, lowering her walls with that woman, right? If she's a dyke, right? Because women are going to lower their walls when they are with other women, whether you like it or not. When they are with men, they're going to have a bit of a guard up because when they're with the homosexual woman, there's not much pressure. And, and subconsciously, they all know that it really doesn't count if I get with this dyke because she's not even a man to begin with. But uh, but on, on Twitter and online, yeah, they're going to put the she, her, or the they, them in the bio and, and, and 
tell you not to misgender them, but in their minds, they're like, oh, well, it doesn't really count because this is a girl anyway. So if, and, and that's if they are interested in Dyken women who are women who are trying to portray as if they are men, which is a whole different dichotomy in and of itself. So my conclusion is, hey, you can take some advice from a Dyking woman if you preface it with, okay, well, I already know that the guard is lowered, so that work I'm going to have to do by myself, but everything else afterwards can apply because a Dyking woman is, is going to, I mean, she's going to know her way around a, a vagina. That is the reality. So they can actually give you some substantial advice if you are a novice as a man. Um, and they can even give you relationship advice as well to a certain extent. But <clears throat> a homosexual man cannot because he is going to be decept deceptive in his prognosis, right? He is going to tell you, oh, well, the, the he's saying the correct thing. The man is not going to marry the BBL woman and he is going to marry the woman who is, you know, natural or whatever. But... His reasoning for that is incorrect, okay? And that's why I want to run this back and break it down bar for bar, line for line, because women are taking advice from homosexual men, and yes, they might diagnose the, 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 the problem, but they're not actually giving an accurate tale of it and an accurate solution or reason as to why this is happening. And they might be genuine in their... Uh, description of this however it's very dangerous to take this advice if you're taking it on face value so let's get into it uh, bar for bar why do you act so shocked when you see the type of women that men choose that they choose to marry that they choose to start a family with why do you act shocked because it's never surprising to me if you understand the Madonna complex of the situation men don't want to marry and start families with so I, I mean, he kind of said it weirdly, but I believe he's speaking about the Madonna complex. And essentially, the Madonna complex is something created by the singer Madonna. And, and basically, she held herself out to the industry and normalized ho shit, normalized sexuality, normalized being a hoe, normalized having high body count, normalized sucking dick random dudes in the bathroom at a bar, okay? And this became attractive to a lot of men because... Now you have a whole generation of women who are willing to give easier sex. But in the 70s and 80s, okay, it benefi benefited a wide variety of men, right? Because everybody was fucking back then because women still didn't have social media. Even in the 90s, it, it benefited a wide variety of men. Now the weirdo men, yeah, they there were still a fraction of men being marginalized when it comes to the dating market. However... Once social media came out, that fraction got even larger, and now there's only a top percentage of men who are actually able to get sexual access from the opposite sex. So my point is the Madonna complex initially made it easier to get laid, but over time, especially with the advent of social media and, and all these types of things, uh, it, it made it harder um, it made it harder for the regular guy to get laid because obviously the women are comparing most guys to blue check mark guys. And, and back then a blue check mark meant something. 10 years ago, a blue check mark meant something. Okay. Now it doesn't cause you can pay for it, but it, it I mean, you could have paid for it back then, but it was a lot more expensive, but a blue check mark a hundred percent means something in this, uh, in the past when social media was really amping up. Now it doesn't so much. Now you have to have the blue check mark and the followers, and you kind of had to have that before. But a blue check mark and ten thousand followers was good enough, you know, to to have a steady income. And that was still a small uh, minority of people who had blue check marks back in the day. So let's keep going. The fantasy. They want to sleep with the fantasy. And the truth of the matter is, most men don't want to marry and start a family with the BBO girl. Can we keep it real? They don't want to start a family with the chick they met at the club. Yeah, and, and 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 yes, men don't want to start a family with the BBL girl for one because you know that you're not getting what you're signing up for. The genetics are not going to match with who who you're getting with. Period. Okay, that, that that's just the reality. 
the genetics ain't gonna match because you're gonna get with a woman who you think has wide hips who has a big butt and and, and she's able to give birth easily and then you're gonna realize oh shit she's gonna have to get a c-section every goddamn time and because she got a bbl and she can't push a kid out naturally or you know you're, you're gonna get a, a woman with a boob job and she's gonna have a child and then you're wondering why why do you always have baby formula why why don't you breastfeed oh oh because my boobs are fake and then that's something you're not even factoring in but for in order for your child to be the most nutritious they need to breastfeed and build that bond with their mother to be the healthiest version of themselves and you you guys are just overlooking it and, and, and being like oh well you know and this is what gets a lot of these nba players nfl players athletes and actors or whatever social media influencers even in trouble because they are getting these women pregnant they're getting the 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 manufactured chicks they're the manufactured bitch they're getting her pregnant okay they're getting her straight pregnant they're busting all inside uh just like anthony edwards remember he busts all inside the uh, other woman and he didn't have the consent form the nda and the consent form and the nda outline in the event of you know a party getting impregnated they both or not both parties that party um is going to be responsible the woman is going to be responsible for terminating the pregnancy or you know not saying terminate but plan b whatever that's on them but if you're not getting them to sign the NDA, if you're not getting them to sign the consent form, that she can go to Instagram and, and post that you sent her 100K of hush money. Right? Anthony Edwards. Yeah. So, um, and even then, the NDAs and consent forms, honestly, the ND, the consent form, I'm, I'm, I'm more sure on. The NDA, no. I guarantee, though, if you take a consent form, a signed consent form, to uh you know any court and, and a woman is trying to claim you know 30 years later or 30 years later right that you sa'd her i guarantee that consent form is gonna work okay now the nda we see ndas can get thrown out we see the ndas aren't necessarily going to help you even if the even if the woman is under penalty because if she ain't got that money which in in the ndas and consent forms that i sell the penalty is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. so if she ain't got it she ain't got it and she might be in debt on paper but um <clears throat> in the reality the the woman just like stormy daniels and trump she's never gonna pay oh i'm never gonna pay i'm never gonna pay this is something she said, even though she violated an NDA. So uh, let's continue. They don't want to. They don't want to wed you. Oftentimes because they were in situations where they instantly had the capacity to sexualize you. And OK, and, and that's not the reason why. The reason why men are not wifing the BBL and the uh, <laughs> the, the BBL and the freaking manufacture bitches because they're hoes y'all are hoes uh y'all got high body counts you're getting all this surgery and all the kind of stuff to attract more men to be in the clubs and all this kind of stuff y'all fucking y'all y'all you know selling pussy men are not stupid we're not going to tell you that up front that we know that you selling pussy and all this kind of stuff if i meet you in the club and you're a, a bartender if i meet you in the club and you're a stripper if i meet you you know it's a done so it's it's a done deal <clears throat> It's a done deal, right? I already know that you're a thought, but that's fine though. We can have fun, but it's not gonna be anything seriously. And, and that is what's going on now. It's not gonna be anything serious. The men are smashing and the women think that they're in relationships. They're claiming that they're in relationships when they're just in a in a uh, friends with benefits or a situationship is what we call it now. But I don't even like calling it a situationship because it sounds too much like a relationship. It's not a relationship. You're getting fucked, bro. That's it. That's it. Now, y'all might hang out. He might take you on a couple days, this and that, but he's not claiming you. And he might be want to be seen out with you because it makes you look it, it makes you look dope if you're with a super hot chick and you know she's BBL'd up or all this kind of stuff. It makes you look good for a night, but it's not something that you want to come home to every day and, and have to be worried about, oh well, the nails, the lashes, the hair, the this, the that. Like those women are high maintenance and, and, and men just want peaceful lives, right? That's that's really all we're asking for.
And the minute that they could do that was the minute they could objectify you, was the minute that they could devalue you, and was the minute that you were no longer a person to them. You were an object. Thus, you were the fantasy. There were now things they wanted to do with you and to you that they would never really do to a woman that they love. That they would never... So, um, this part that he's talking about is... He's... he's there's no way he's not 100% alluding to prostitution. They wanted to do things with you that they never would... I mean, a lot of times you're going to have to pay. You're going to have to pay these women to do the things that he's trying to speak of. Period. Unless he is a super high value man, then they will let you do it for the free ski. That is true. But for the regular guy, you're paying for a BBL girl to do whatever sick fantasies that he has heard from these women that he's friends with and all that kind of stuff. Right? really do to a woman that they think highly of but because they've seen you the way they have seen you you no longer are someone they think highly of in any capacity they don't think of you being any more than just a body but these women that they wed these women that they start families with they have not had instances where they had the capacity to sexualize them because they did not exude sensuality do you know what i mean do you get what i'm saying and because they also understand how other men are, the decision is made that, okay, if I couldn't do that to you, most other men couldn't do that to you either. Thus, the competition is less. Thus, I don't have to worry about you when you go to the grocery store, when you go to the nail salon, when you go shopping with your girls. I don't have to worry because most dudes don't even look at you like that. Do you? Uh, I mean, everybody wants a good looking wife. It's just that men prefer natural over unnatural. It's just if you can if you can you know make your body look the best being natural then that's what the man is going to like whether you get buffed up boobs and stuff like that i mean it's good for a night yes but any real family man in you know i know there's going to be people who go, i love fake boobs yeah we know everybody loves fake boobs for a night dude everybody loves a fake fat ass for a night but in reality, you want the woman to be natural, and that's who are getting married, okay? So, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it's, it's just crazy that this is even a debate. It's crazy that we even have to outline this reality, but it's, it's something that a lot of women are confused about, and I think that I brought a lot of clarity uh, when breaking this down but the moral of the story is you can't really take advice from homosexual men because they're going to lead you some they're going to lead you astray in a lot of this advice see the reality is <clears throat> homosexual men are a caricature of what they believe that women are and and you know maybe they got their personality from their grandmama their auntie or their mama right and usually they are raised in a single parent household uh especially when it comes to the black community so it's, it's a single mother household. So the homosexual man is a caricature of what he believes women are. And women craft in, in, in modern culture, especially in the black community, women craft their personalities around homosexual men. That's why they're where they, that's why they have to, you know, do the lashes, the makeup and, and the weaves and stuff, because it's, it's almost like they're trying to mimic the swag of drag queens right so uh, at the end of the day we we don't know which one came first <laughs> and it's hard to differentiate especially if you're in atlanta between what is real and what is not and then also what's a man and what's a woman so you have to be very careful out here uh but i'm gonna end it off there you already know what it is it's your boy reclaim your throne make sure you like comment share subscribe see in relationship quotes to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so i know you're paying your ties man y'all need to be on your mark freaking name with the bs you already know Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. 
Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.